Well, it seems like 2020 is full of surprises. E this is more of a nightmare. In addition to COVID-19, we've had murder hornets, that 17-year cicada outbreak right, that right, we talked yep, about. That. Now we're talking about flying snakes. This is real. A study of Virginia Tech is looking into how the reptiles are able to flatten themselves out and then they glide through the air because that's what we all want, right? Yes. They found that the... Uh, what is this undulating undulating yeah, uh -huh, motion they uh -huh. use to travel uh, will help in the development of tiny flying devices. So maybe there's some good in this. Mm -hmm. This includes things like a drone the size of an insect and even flying snake robots that could be used for search and rescue. If you're wanting your your ribbon like robot, your snake like search and rescue robot to fly, what are the important principles that you have to build into the robot? What do you care about, right? And our study now provides us a template. Look at this. I mean, no. just that is so cool. <laughs> so cool. Now, while you watch that, I'll tell you, researchers have conducted several tests, and this is called the Paradise Tree Snake. It only lives in Asia, and it is harmless to humans. I don't want to find out. That's the thing. You just don't want to find out. Because what if that, if that like, hit you and, you like, it comes at you and you don't know and you're just walking? That, it would be, like, an instant heart attack. Yeah, that, that'd be an unwelcome surprise. Yeah. But what if it was a drone that looked like a snake? How would you know? Huh? I, I don't care. It looks like a snake. That's all that you need to know, right? All right I don't well, want to stick around to find out. For right now, they're only in Asia <laughs> except for at Virginia Tech where they're doing research. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if local story... International implications. Yeah. I love it. It's interesting. Yeah.